What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. Once again, I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hey, everybody. And, of course, our legal counsel, Pridge. Good evening, everyone, or afternoon or morning, wherever you are. <laughs> you might notice uh, right up here we do have some wonderful fan art that uh, our, our chat made for us. This was made by Sibylla at the Boxmaster on Twitter. It is absolutely fantastic. Again, you all are, are way too much. We love you so much. We are so glad that this show has, has really resonated with people. Um, also, important to note, we had a TikTok that has now half a million views this week of uh, Pridge leading, reading last week's question, uh, which is absolutely incredible. Speaking of, Pridge, do you have another question for us? This week. I do I do have question number 12 from the July 2018 Ohio bar exam. Then please hey, yeah. hit, us, hit with us with it. That sweet, sweet question. But All don't right. hit us with a stapler. <laughs> Dan owned a chicken wing restaurant, Wing Hut, in any town, Ohio. <laughs> the years of success, sales declined after ABC Wings, another chicken wing restaurant, opened across the street. Dan mm -hmm. thought his only hope was to shut down the competition. Dang. Dan decided that he would set fire to ABC Wings one night after it closed. Dan, Dan asked Amy, his girlfriend, to set fire to ABC Wings, and she agreed. Amy? Why, why would you agree to that? Hey, they've got a very committed relationship. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> they're, they're, right, they're right or not. <laughs> she, she's his wingman. Oh. Dan, now Dan's head chef, Chris overheard the plans. He worried that Wing Hut might have to close, so he offered to help. <laughs> Everybody's so what? cool with Chris arson. Chris is like, in this yeah, story. arson. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, everyone's just like, oh, yeah, why the hell not? <laughs> Dan Continue, asked him please. to look at the floor plans for ABC Wings to help identify the best place to set the fire. Look at the fucking Chris schematics. Chris drew a map and directions to lead Amy to the perfect place to start the fire. This sounds like a video, like an Assassin's Creed mission. <laughs> Seeing an opportunity to eliminate additional competition, Dan asked his roommate, Bob, to set fire to XYZ Taco, what? another restaurant Jeez. located next door to Wing Hut. He said, listen, listen, I know we could, we could, do, we could burn down one place, but why not make it cereal arson? You know, Master Wayne, some people just like to watch XYZ Taco burn. <laughs> Bob agreed to help. Unbeknownst to Dan, however, Bob contacted the police and explained the plan. Bob's, Bob's a, a narc. fucking narc. Fucking narc, Bob. Because Bob's a narc. <laughs> On the designated day, Dan went to a gas station and bought two gallons of gas, one for Amy to use at ABC Wings and one for Bob to use at XYZ Taco. Amy and Dan waited at Wing Hut until close to midnight when the restaurants were closed. Smart. Amy then took the gas can across the street while Dan waited at Wing Hut. As Amy entered ABC Wings, Dan saw several police cars suddenly, suddenly oh, arrive. Fuck. Dan oh, called Amy on her cell phone and told her, I changed my mind. You are on your own. I want nothing to do with your plan. Yo, Dan! Moments later, police officers burst into both restaurants and arrested Amy and Dan. Bob had remained at home, not intending to go through with the plan. Fucking Bob. Bob's just sitting in his fucking recliner chair, cigar and scotch in hand, like, all according to plan. <laughs> Amy, Chris, Dan, and Bob were indicted in any town, county, court of common pleas. The I love four... any town. Mm. <laughs> the four questions are: Should Amy be convicted of attempted arson? Yes. Should yes. Should Chris Should Chris be convicted of complicity? Yes. Should Dan wait, wait. be convicted of conspiracy to commit arson with Amy? Yes. And yes. should Bob be convicted of conspiracy to commit arson with Dan? I would say no I'd to say Bob. Yeah, because he contacted the police immediately afterwards. What's it, isn't, it isn't like he contacted the police after getting the gas from him. He did it before. Yeah, shit. So, Are you going to tell me that Bob, yeah, is, what, Bob yeah. is also going to jail? 
Yeah, Bridge, what, what, what are you going to tell us the right answer? Yes. So you guys kind of nailed it as you were going down the list, but I'll okay. I'll give not the full answer because that's way too wordy. But I'll I'll give the short I'll give the short answers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, Amy would be most likely convicted of attempted arson. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing for an attempt crime is the key words are a substantial step is taken in completing the crime. Mm -hmm. And for this one, it's pretty clear that since Amy. Since they had the gas, the gallons of gas, and Amy had waited at the location until it closed and had gone inside, um, all of that would be easy to uh, that would be easy to identify as a substantial step, and she would be convicted of attempted arson. Mm, gotcha. Question two: Should Chris be convicted of complicity? He's the one with the blueprints, right? Yes. Um, okay. Complicity is basically kind of what you'd call aiding and abetting. Mm. Um, in this one, the answer is also most likely yes. Uh, the key thing is he assisted in the planning of a crime, even though he did not intend to take part in the crime itself. Mm. And by, yeah, yeah. by um, drawing the map and the directions, that's going to be easy enough to declare aiding and abetting. Yeah. Third, should Dan be convicted of conspiracy to commit arson? Uh, so the big one, so... Dan should be convicted kind of, of being a punk-ass bitch fucking selling out amy god damn that is, that is true they are they are, prob <laughs> they, are prob they are probably breaking up after this that, that's oh, not yeah. part of the question but that's just a guess <laughs> they're probably breaking up after this that's that's your relationship counsel advice that's free mm. of charge yeah <laughs> um so once again this one seems kind of obvious um dan this was dan's idea and he no, was but he also said he said takes these backseats though so that's what the, that, so, so that's what these last two are really questioning on is mm. the difference in how one can begin the process of conspiracy but back out mm -hmm. um and and the the key here for which helps with both dad and bob is in order to back out of conspiracy it has to be voluntary mm. Uh, Dan's was not voluntary because police cars had already arrived. So Dan only backed out because he knew he was screwed. That is mm. not considered voluntary. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. Bob's Could was you... absolute. Bob's was absolutely voluntary because, for all we know, it didn't ever seem like Bob even intended to go through with the plan. He 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 heard about it, agreed to help, then immediately called the police. It doesn't matter that if it was you know one second after or 10 minutes after the key is that he voluntarily backed out of the conspiracy well before any taking any assistance was given or any substantial steps were taken. I can't fucking but, believe that he, he's so he's sitting across the street inside fucking wing hut, sees the police pull up to arrest his girlfriend, calls her on her fucking cell phone and says, nah, <laughs> sorry, girl. I, I think I'm we should see other people. I, Again, I'm gonna I go work at Pizza Barn. <laughs> you are on your own. I want nothing to do with your plan. He even tried to blame her as the mastermind. Uh, One, he has all the motive. Mm -hmm. He owns Wing Hut. <laughs> yeah. So no, he has the, the chat motive. Says, Dan, who owns the competition? Sure, he didn't make this plan up. Oh no! Right. The, the, you would have <laughs> a hard time convincing a jury that this guy's girlfriend's like, "Hey, Dan, I want to help your restaurant that you own. Let's go burn down other people's shit, and if you don't do it, I'll kill you." <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the kind of duress we're looking at. Also, Chris would almost certainly sell him out as part of a plea bargain. Oh, fuck yeah. Chris would. Ooh, I Dan. mean, at this point, Everybody's who in the dark fuck in this wouldn't world. sell Dan out? Like, fuck exactly. Dan. <laughs> exactly. Bo I mean, Bob would sell Dan out because Bob had bailed in the first place. Chris would sell. So it would. So even if Dan tried to claim that, he'd have Amy, Chris, and Bob most likely telling him he's bullshit. Right. Could, and, he, could... And, and his duress defense would absolutely fall to pieces. Could Bob get like a slap in the nuts for being a tattletale? Like, could he? Could the judge be like, "Hey, you jerk, tattletale"? Unfortunately, and... the criminal justice system appreciates narcs, so he would <laughs> oh, most likely be, he, he would most likely be commended <laughs> for being a fucking narc. No wonder nobody likes the criminal justice system. <laughs> Might have really been quick. in the chat says Bailiff yes. whack his pee pee. <laughs> That's exactly One what I was going to say. Don't slap his nuts. He likes it. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That was really funny. Well, 
Should we play a video game? Let's play this video game. Phoenix is like, well, it's uh, two days after Christmas and still haven't gotten to celebrate it because you're <laughs> fucking thing, Edgeworth. <laughs> Hope you really appreciate this, bud. Uh, really so quick- curious what this trial is going to be. The only witness we have is a crazy drunk guy. Yeah. So I, I am really... That's I am- what- I am nervous about what is going to happen. That's uh-huh. what you think. Is that the... Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> Very well. Apparently the prosecution is also ready. Who is the judge here, anyway? (laughs) Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. (laughs) Uh, Very well. No opening statements, so... Uh, Your your Honor, I do get an opening... (laughs) Not so fast, Judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. (laughs) You're asleep, old man. What is this, a fucking Harold (laughs) Pinter play? Like, fuck off. Everyone knows that pregnant pauses are the best way to act. Right, of course. A prediction. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Oh, fuck. That's the most anime shit this series has done so far. And that's I I really wish I really wish they'd pull like some Metal Gear shit and just put a timer on top of the screen right now. (laughs) Oh, the sh- oh shit! They're they're, they're all about Disney it. Phoenix just like stall for three minutes. <laughs> Be like, got <laughs> you. Hey, fuck off, Bon Karma. <laughs> Order. Just, just Order. Take a, a heart attack for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, just, just stick right where the three minutes ends up. All right, never mind. I'm fine. <laughs> hey, Miss Phoenix Wright, you're a dick. <laughs> Mister Von Karma. What is the meaning of your statement just now? Bah! Must you question everything? It will be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I'll call my witness now. Right. I call my witness, my decisive witness, to the stand. It's that mysterious boat shop owner. <laughs> Witness, state your profession. I'd like a name first. (laughs) Um. (laughs) I uh, am the proprietor of the restaurant The Wet Noodle at Gord Lake. And I uh, also rent boats. I like that even Von Karma's like, no, that's not your job. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> the night of the incident, you were in the boat rental shop, correct? Objection, leading question. <laughs> hey. Yep, yep, I was. Please testify. Objective, narrative. Oh, wait a second. We still haven't heard who this old guy is. Raise it up. Thank you, Phoenix. Good job. Look at this. Phoenix is actually doing his job. (laughs) Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Ah. You're a bad prosecutor. I have predicted this trial will end in three minutes. (laughs) Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. It's not. Uh, so, <laughs> lawyer thing here. The witness's name is not a trivial question. It's actually rather important. <laughs> uh, uh, Heads uh, up to everyone. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> how else? How else are you gonna write him his gift card for Panera once the trial's over? For the wet noodle. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. The witness will state his name. Two of the three parties here know what they're doing. (laughs) (laughs) Well, uh, I'm not really sure. Yep. What do you mean? 
My, uh, memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Name in the last several years? <laughs> yeah, he never went by anything for those seven years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. Yeah, that's a good point, Pris. This doesn't make any sense, this, this like, path of logic. <laughs> like, they could have said amnesia in general, but... Von Karma's floundering. Hmm? He can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. It's fucking convenient. Debatable! <laughs> yeah. Very well. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we? Witness. Yeah, Cronite also points out, does he not have a fucking wallet with an ID or anything? <laughs> <laughs> this man apparently owns a boat rental shop. He has to be getting fucking uh, tax returns. Yeah. 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 His tax He's getting a W-2. Say... Yeah, what's his W-2 say? That old guy at the wet noodle? <laughs> <laughs> that old guy at the wet noodle. First name. The IRS, the IRS old guy. is usually like a... Uh, IRS doesn't really roll that way. You know, watching watching this guy sway back and forth right now, uh, my initial thought was that he's just kind of loopy. But now I'm like, does he have his AirPods in and he's listening to, Can you feel the sunshine? <laughs> Is it brightening up your day? Well, that's good. Chat. That's, it looks like chat he's just wrong. Like, Uncle is jamming to right now. That's yeah, definitely going like to be just... an edit for the video. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like he's jamming right now. What? What's he jamming? Is it maybe Gangsta's Paradise? Oh, that's also a good one. Ooh, Sibylla says <laughs> September. That's a fucking bop. Remember. See some some tunes going on in his AirPods and his this ears is, right this now. This is this is the new. This is gonna be the new Lisa meme where like she's putting in the the she's listening to something and she's like floating in space. It's gonna be this <laughs> with what song makes you feel like this? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's get to this testimony. It was the night of the twenty fourth, just after midnight. Yeah. I was in the restaurant where I uh, rent boats, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> then I heard a bang. Yeah. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just uh, floating on the lake. Then I heard another bang. Just about then, the boat comes back to the shore, and a man walks by my window. Hmm. Very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. That's not how this works, Von Karma. There is nothing to question in my witness's testimony. That's not how that works, Von Karma. <laughs> Ergo, no need for cross-examination. Well, first off, he didn't identify. <laughs> it's also Besides, a good point. He didn't only... even say it was Edgeworth. <laughs> he, That's did, true. he didn't even identify who walked by. He said a man walked by. Therefore, Edgeworth should be found guilty. This is nothing. This, this is how I win 40 years straight of cases. Von Karma, this is the biggest nothing burger you've ever fucking made. <laughs> Judge, your verdict now. Uh, Yes. Uh, new Mr. Right. Okay, new head cannon. Von Karma does in fact have an undefeated record in 40 years, but it's actually just one in zero. <laughs> yeah. Like Von yeah. Karma's only ever tried one case in 40 years. <laughs> so he's undefeated, but he just got one really easy case. That's ludicrous. All right. Uh, so yeah, uh, Pridge, I don't know. Should, should we cross examine or just go home uh, for the day? I think Von Karma's right. He's got us. This yeah. old man heard two gunshots no from a person. We're done Let's for. Quit while we're ahead, man. I'm but almost curious what happens if you say don't cross examine. <laughs> He'll probably just think to himself, no, Do that's that not save right, state. Yeah. Why not? I feel like he's just I feel like he's just I feel like it's just gonna be like, okay, well, we can try, but I think he's just gonna question himself, be like 
No, Phoenix, that's not a good idea. Right. <laughs> He's right. That testimony sounded pretty solid. Did it? <laughs> Maybe I should hold back. But, Nick, you have to cross-examine him. Maya, oh, good. I forgot Maya's you were the allowed. voice of reason. I forgot that Maya was allowed in court again. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty strange that, you know, she was held in contempt and then allowed to be back there yeah. the next day. Uh, this is your only chance to turn this trial around. Your last chance. To turn it about? <laughs> uh, oh, right. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, Mr. Von Karma? <laughs> Three minutes just passed. You fuck. <laughs> oh, sorry. Von Karma roaring. Oh, Are you bring wow. a dinosaur? <laughs> because the arbitrary three-minute deadline you said <laughs> You made me look this like an idiot. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little he's a little baby. Oh jeez. I see. Well then, let's just take our time. <laughs> you may cross examine the witness. I'm so glad that we said not to. <laughs> <laughs> that little waste of time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's just go. How many statements do I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. If I know One thing Karma, that the later games do that I really enjoy is that they give you, like, they tell you how many statements there yes. are in the whole thing, which yeah. becomes very helpful. Nice. If I know Von Karma, he spent time preparing his witness. I'm not going to find contradictions very easily in this testimony. Whew. It's tough being a lawyer. <laughs> is that true, Prince? Tough being a lawyer, is it tough Phoenix? being a lawyer? It is tough. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so, I mean, the last statement's the most blatant, where he doesn't, you know, say who he saw. Mm -hmm. Nobody yeah. Let's knows definitely that. Like, just start there. The trouble I see. <laughs> by your window? Yes, and then by the wall. <laughs> by the wall. Damn, you got me on that one. That was good. <laughs> yep, yeah, by my window. Right outside the window of my little shack. And could you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. Would you say the fog was dummy thick? <laughs> It was thick. <laughs> this is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. <laughs> My witness has just died. I have a bad feeling about <laughs> this. That man was the defendant. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. I mean, we gotta press this too, right? Like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> uh oh. Dad! No! <laughs> dead certain, Keith! He said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by, too. Witness, are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him at Edgeworth Ball! <laughs> this sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. You can't doubt this old man? Not even this much room. No? Okay. <laughs> this, this, much sleeping, room. this sleeping 
somewhat drunk old man who doesn't know who he is is clearly a credible witness. <laughs> Came a course over. It only took five minutes, actually. Uh, Von Karma. He lured me into cross-examining so he could set me up for a fall. Really bad strategy. It'd be much better to just, <laughs> direct on direct examination, get that information out there. <laughs> Von Karma's a sick bastard. <laughs> Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. <laughs> Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. I better act quick, or this trial is going to be over. It's because my ass is so fat in these new jeans I got. <laughs> jeans to court? <laughs> You never see uh, it. Yeah, sure. Raise an objection. Not, not like we have to have. Not like we have to give reasons for objections in this game. So just raise one. Your Honor, we proved in yesterday's court that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Mister Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun, and the photograph showing a man firing with his left hand? Exactly. <clears throat> That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. But forgotten his other hand? You are yeah. ignoring the truth of the matter here. Yeah, that's bad logic, Karma. Yeah, so he he's like, oh, I'll wipe my left hand fingerprints, but then smudge him with my right hand. <laughs> yeah, he shot because it. Because I'm bad at crime? He shot it, wiped it down, and then grabbed it with the right hand to put it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Edgeworth's not the smartest boy. <laughs> Everything in this witness's testimony is true. The witness mm. leave fainted after giving the last bit of his testimony. The judge is lost in thought. What should I do? <laughs> More objections. <laughs> the judge is like, hmm. Your Honor. I can't, I can't tell. Is he listening to September? Or... This witness Boogie claims... Wonderland. This witness claims that Edgeworth said, quote, I can't believe he's dead, but his word is all we have. If he were telling a lie. Mr. Wright, in a court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently, you have yet to realize even this basic fact. I feel like you have yet to realize this basic fact. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. It's not. <laughs> I mean, I'm more just saying he's not a credible witness. Right. So witness testimony and evidence are different things. <laughs> Objection, so, judge. Well, what the actual fuck? You're believing this old man? <laughs> listen, I didn't go to law school or whatever, but in this courtroom, evidence is everything, and this man's testimony is evidence or whatever. <laughs> Nick, do we have evidence? <laughs> also, Lizard in the chat says, Von Karma, evidence is everything. Also, Von Karma actively withholds evidence. <laughs> <laughs> it's no good. There's nothing I can do. Uh, are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. Your protege need sucks your help. and he needs help. <laughs> <laughs> Nick needs you. He's doing really awful right now. <laughs> Three minutes was perhaps too high of an expectation. We fucking got past three minutes. Fuck off, on Karma. Fuck off, on Karma. However, 15 minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. Bitch. Enough. The witness may leave the stand. Give a terrible testimony. I don't... It's not over until I say it's over. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Judge... <laughs> Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. There's a fucking reasonable doubt on this one, though, at least. Come on. 
La <laughs> la la, I can't hear you. La, this la, la. case is extremely clear. I mean, <laughs> one sleeping old guy told us he saw the defendant. <laughs> How much more clear can it be? We have one sleepy old man who can't yeah. remember his name. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. Do you not? What? No! Hmm. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Ah, oh, damn. The accused will surrender to the court immediately. We did it! We lost you! To be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. What? We did it! We lost! That is all. The court is adjourned. We did it, boys! Woo! Who, who was that just now? I don't know who this is, actually. I forget. Huh? What? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get him, Larry. <laughs> Did Larry just throw himself on the witness stand? Uh-huh. Larry just fucking vaulted over the uh, the gallery to, to get yeah. onto the fucking witness stand. What the just, fuck, Larry? I'm going to he just plowed over the bailiff. Fucking, like, ninja flipped. Fucking onto the witness stand. Larry's Larry's a secret badass. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> what are Who you the doing fuck here? Fuck are you? <laughs> listen, you gotta listen to me. I, I was, I was there in the park the night of the murder. I was the person who killed him. It was me. I. Uh, I wasn't sure about it until yesterday. B but today I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot. I heard it too. This motherfucker. Order. Uh, just to clarify, I don't think anybody's asked this yet. Nobody could do this in an actual case, right? No witness could volunteer themselves in the middle of a fucking case. He would a bailiff and any other security in the building somewhere between tackling and tasing him right now. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> uh, also, Bridge, I have a question. If if the judge declares a verdict and then say, like, as the court is adjourning, the, def I, the, the, the defense of the prosecution is like, oh, shit. I just saw something, or I just realized something. Your Honor, this is a very important thing about the case we just did. Can the case be reconvened, or can the judge just be like, no, I don't care. Like, I already said you, my verdict. You, you, We're leaving. You better get working on that appeal, then. <laughs> okay, I mean, reality, so it would be an appeal. The judge, yeah, yeah, yeah. The judge well, handed once, down the order. <laughs> yeah, once once courts adjourn, once the jury has delivered a verdict, or the judge has delivered a verdict, um, no, you... If if you just recent if you just realize something then you you go right and you you should go right to include you start writing the pa the appeal paperwork right there you you get ready to file that appeal the the second you are able gotcha okay uh, Jojo but, does this, ask, but that but that case is done yeah Jojo also asks how quickly can appeal can an appeal go through I mean you can file pretty immediately hmm. um, I don't know what the I mean, you have a set. Of, I mean, you have a limited amount of time you can appeal. Mm. Um, I, I I hated learning all the dates and time limits for in civil procedure. It's one of the most annoying things ever. Mm. Uh, I for the life of me can't remember what the actual date range is for appeals. Mm. But you can pretty again. You can leave that court and go right to writing your appeal. And I think I just like file it like the next day. Order. What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided. I call for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. <laughs> I'm a curious little boy. <laughs> so, you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did. A uh, gunshot that night. This, again, would not be allowed. The verdict was declared. 
I was sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. That's convenient. Then I realized something he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It's... It's just not right! I'll testify! Let me testify! <laughs> Pantran says this is the appeal speed run. <laughs> Order! Order! Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. Actually, it's really not. Yeah. <laughs> it like it? this happens all the time in your court, dude. <laughs> You gotta reevaluate the way you conduct a trial. Judge, do, do you have memory loss over the last several years? <laughs> several weeks, Wait. even? I can't remember my name other than Judge. judge. <laughs> no one's called me anything other than Judge for years. Oh my god. Ever since, ever since the DL6 incident, no one's called me anything other than Judge. <laughs> Also, shout Wait, out was to... this judge the judge for the DL6 incident? <laughs> Actually, was he? I... Actually, I think he, I think he was. I think he was, yeah. Okay, I, I, okay this is, I think this is the only judge that exists in whatever fictional place we are, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. There's like one other judge, yeah. but he only shows up like one time, I think. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to proceed. I mean, this is my first time doing this before. <laughs> Judge, you've already given your decision. The trial is over. Nick, this is it. Larry's given us one final chance at this. She's right. If only it wasn't Larry. <laughs> Got him. Damn. Even Phoenix is like, man, fuck, fuck you, this Larry. guy. He could make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. It doesn't get any worse. You're, you're right. Okay. You're on it. I declare Edgeworth super guilty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it, Larry, you did make worse. things worse. <laughs> if, there, if there is another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. <laughs> A waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. It is inevitable. <laughs> that didn't do anything. I just kind of felt like doing it. Actually, really quick, I'm surprised there's not like a Von Karma as Thanos thing. Because he even snaps a bunch. He does snap a shit, Todd. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There's another edit for you, Zach. Yeah, find, right. find a way to find a way to get the Infinity Gauntlet on uh on, um, on Karma's. Actually, hand. I bet it wouldn't be that bad. And then just just use the objection dot law to make him say, "Dread it, run from it." I come all the same, or whatever it is. That's not the exact. <laughs> well, well, chat's gonna what? have a field day with that that wording. What? Let's talk about the game, shall we? <laughs> what is that? He said, "Well, doesn't the Thanos say, dread it, run from it'?'" I come all the same. What? What is what is the actual end of that line? Somebody tell uh, me what the actual end of the line. I feel like it's not no, that far off. That's what it. Chat, don't you dare tell him. That's what it is from now on. Isn't that what he says? <laughs> I don't know, but if it is, it's very funny. Since when does Zach say Thanos? Oh yeah. Also, why do you call him Thanos? People say Thanos. Yes, yeah, I watched those Thanos. movies. I thought they said Thanos. Uh, Pridge, next, back next me thing up you know, here. Next thing you know, you're going to tell me it's not the Mario Brothers. No, I'm just fucking <laughs> with you on that one. Both were okay. No, it's the it's the Mario Brothers. It's Everybody it's it's that. a Caribbean Caribbean kind of thing. You can say Thanos or Thanos. <laughs> Anyways, Thanos. Uh -huh. <laughs> allow me to speak my opinion. Thanos is totally weird. It's pronounced Thanos. <laughs> Uh, we, we, court we, you guys should check the Ace Attorney chat in the Discord when you get a chance. Oh, God. <laughs> there's, there's oh, pretty, God. There's two, there's two pretty good things in there. Oh, it's very yeah. good. That's very good. My heart's <laughs> <have> been poisoned. <laughs> wow. And yeah, the fucking... Thanos is very the judge. Good. 
Thanos as the judge. <laughs> uh, yes. It's incredible. Very powerful. No. Again, <laughs> uh, if you are watching live and are not a member of our Discord, the link is down below. You will find it there. It is excellent. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, all right, all right, all right. Back to this absolute kangaroo court. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. I feel like you've contradicted this several times already, Judge. But sure. Yeah. Wait, wait, now you're talking about an accurate verdict. You were just about to condemn man guilty based on the single testimony of an old man who can't. Remember. Remember his name. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now, who's the judge here? Now integrity matters, I guess. <laughs> what is this? I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. <laughs> I said take these backsies. <laughs> <laughs> my fingers were crossed when I said it. Rebel, rebel. <laughs> oh, he just did take these backsies. I didn't know you could do take these backsies. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, I order you to call this new witness to testify. <laughs> because the attorneys aren't allowed to call witnesses, I guess. <laughs> they, just, they just don't get witnesses. Right. Uh, Taco Sensei in the chat is putting out the call for somebody to do fan art of Mr. Monke as Maya. <laughs> just all, the, just all the, the crossover characters now. Now... Ooh. What? what? Forceful now. I know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, the will adjourn. maybe the judge is a top. I he's he's starting it now. <laughs> he's showing me he's showing me some skills. <laughs> the court will adjourn for a five minute recess. After that, we will hear this new witness. Court is adjourned. All right, Larry. Don't don't fuck us on this, bud. Larry, I swear to God, if you fuck this up, <laughs> if you fuck this I up, I will invent, I will invent a time machine just so I can go back and not defend you when you're accused of murder. Then there's gonna be a new catchphrase that said, "If somebody gets fucked, it's probably the butts." <laughs> that was better. That was better. I was gonna see. I'm gonna go back in time and lose my first case. <laughs> Whew. That was too close. Sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that, Edgeworth. <laughs> Everybody's cracking up. <laughs> I fucking hate you, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> fucking please die. <laughs> hmm. I've seen worse. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets. I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Speaking of which, I should probably be taking this recess to fucking coach my witness. Fuck. But he's not your witness. Yes, Everyone he's, is Von, he's Von Karma. Witness. So Von Karma's coaching him right now. That's true. Larry was at the lake that the lake that night. We we talked we, about this. We know that. Yeah. My, we literally talked about you this. Not, do you not have memories from 15 years ago either? <laughs> I mean, she wouldn't have memories 15 years ago. She'd, she'd be two. like two. <laughs> yes. Well, so she I'm does right. Say, she does say that she remembers her mom, kind of. Yep. Yes. But that's that's classic cartoon logic. That's is, true. Oh, yeah. I remember my mom, even though I was right out the womb. Yeah. <laughs> I remember her smile, just like it was yesterday. <laughs> He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Again, we talked about this yesterday. Oh, right. We totally talked about this yesterday. <laughs> and he found the balloon and the air tank that night? Yes. Found the balloon, not the air tank. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Edgeworth, <laughs> what are you looking at over there? <laughs> hmm? Oh, sorry. Huh? You say something right? My face is up here. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of things. You seem out of it. What's wrong? You did just get declared guilty and then suddenly not, so. I don't, I don't understand what could possibly be wrong with you. 
It's nothing. Hmm? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Oh. It was my gun. This is... <laughs> I shot it. Damn it, right. Before <laughs> it again. I like this running joke. That, that joke is never going to be old. <laughs> <laughs> when he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. What? I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. It was a blood, blood theory. <laughs> then I saw the pistol lying on the floor of the boat in front of me. I picked it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. Fuck you, Edgeworth. <laughs> you deserve to go to jail for this. I see. So you're a fucking idiot. Right. Yeah? This might be our chance. To run away together? Our chance? Von Karma has only ever run perfect trials. Perfect trials? Yes, Metal Gear. <laughs> God, I didn't even think of it that time. <laughs> Perfectly prepared witnesses, perfectly complete evidence. Some good alliteration there, Edgeworth. <clears throat> That's the secret to his success. That's an Edgeworth line. I don't know why you read it. That's the secret to his success. Fuck. <laughs> this is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. He has let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. Oh, he didn't let them. <laughs> yeah, let's be clear. And that someone is Larry. <laughs> Who else but Larry? What are you getting at? Phoenix, it's pretty obvious what he's getting yeah. at. Yeah. Mod Karma might not know how to improv. Talk! Just talk! I am shut up! <laughs> it's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? You'd want to know something else that's full of holes. Wink, wink. Swiss Twitch cheese. cheese. Hey, look at that. <laughs> the greatest of minds. That's right, Nick. No 10-minute trial this time. We'll milk this one for all it's worth. Hey, it was 15 minutes. Fift it was hey, it was 15 minutes. 15! Everything depends on Larry now. Ha, ha, ha.